So I'm here at the, at the, that's the Japanese bees. These are the Gaidin queens, right? Let's actually take this out, put it in the shade a little bit. Oh, in the sun. Put this in here, in the shade. There's two um, queen cells, one on this side, one on this side, that will hatch this week. And ultimately, in here, I have a bait hive inside this hive. I believe the queen is in the bait hive. So what I'm gonna do is actually move the bait hive over there with the queen on it, right? And hopefully, and then I'm gonna check the frames to see, make sure that's kind of flat, right? To see how, um, um, if there's a queen on it, right? Look for the queen, Japanese queen. I'm gonna wipe this down, that's a little kind of greasy. And then I'm going to put the new frame in there. Now, the question is, is this, will the Japanese bees just go from here to there, right? And return and, and abandon this place and go where the queen is? Uh, the wind is blowing this way, so the scent will go that way. So any bees returning back, I hopefully won't get hit with the scent. Now, my friend uh, Gary, my mentor, my beekeeping mentor, says you got to within, within a mile. Uh, unfortunately, because of the way I have the hive set up, it's a pain to move them, and I really don't want to move them away from the food, right? I'm gonna wipe this down with this. So, um, let's do it. I don't know if I could prop up the camera at all. I guess you'll have to wait and see, show the end results, because I don't have anyone to hold the camera. As you can see, I am wearing the suit because this is pretty evasive. And um, even though, I, you know, these bees are, I think, pretty calm. All right. Wipe this down. This is vegetable oil and beeswax. All right. So this pretty, this box needs some work on it. But it's just going to sit. Get this on here. It's going to sit on here and uh, be able to come and go here. And I'm curious, if the bees end up leaving, abandoning this and coming back to here, then I'll put it back in there. Um, they may kill the new queens because of the different scent. Who knows? I don't know what's gonna happen. So maybe I can prop up the camera here on this table that I have set up for water and you can watch me work. How's that? Can you see me? Can you see me? Okay, so here I am, you can see me. All right, put my glove on. I have, well, I was gonna use that water to calm them. I've got some more water. Get some more water. This is uh, clean water. So, some little water here. Here's the top that's gonna go on to the queening hive. And let's do it. So there's bees all over these frames. So what I'm gonna do is actually move these frames down so I can get the I don't know if the queen is on any of these frames. If the queen's are out of her box here, I'm hoping the queen is still gonna be in her box. Big old sumo drone. Here's a bee just inspecting. Wow, these drones are massive. Right. So the new 
queen chamber is actually going to, these guys here, these. I hope the queen is still in this box. They're not building any cone or anything, they're just checking out the frame. They're just guarding this frame. I'm going to drop this one. This frame is going to drop here. So there's a good colony inside here. Get the camera and show you real quick. That's what I'm hoping to accomplish here. So, this is what it looks like. The queen should be in here. There's a good colony in here. There's a good colony in here. This is going to come out. The new queen's going to slide in here, right? So there'll be new colony. This this box here is going to go over there, right? So that's why you can see all the cone they built down there. They're building, building, building. They got cone all over in there. So, back here. Can you see me? A lot of bees all over these frames. Cool thing how I had this set up. I can roll this back, right? And now I can work on this side. To really minimize the aggravation being in the sun, I really like this, this roof that I have. And this too is full of bees on this side here, these two frames here. They're just getting honey, filling these frames. loads of bees on these frames. This is what a beehive should look like. They're cleaning. Adding like see pollen in here. Beautiful Japanese bees. I don't see a queen. I'm not very experienced in this. There's no comb. I mean, there's a lot of frames here that can go into the new one. Okay. So now, a little discomfort. I gotta get this top on. I'm going to do it from this end here. This guy's fanning. And this is our hive. All right, top's on. I'm gonna get this out now. We're really tight. Really, really tight. I have to move out one of these frames here.
workspace here. So this here is the swarm hive. So this swarm hive now is going to move over here. I'm assuming the queen is still in here. All right, so now I just split the hive. Get these guys back in here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the new queen in here. So here are the new queens. I've got two queens in here that I'm going to now add to this hive here, Japanese bees. These are Western Queens, right? And I'm gonna actually gonna put it on the end so I can see what happens. So, I've done a split. The question is, will it work or not? Over there is the queen. Over here is the queen cells. And oh, I missed the hive. I need to put that, that back. That will go into another master hive, right? And uh, the question is, is, will these bees, Gary thinks these bees are just going to fly back over there. They may. We'll wait and see. So I'm gonna put this one hive back in. Hold on, let me put this one hive, one frame back in. Okay.
guard on. All right, it's, we're gonna see what's gonna happen now. That's back, see what these bees do. And I, the, there's the, uh, here are the options that may happen. Number one is they abandon this hive here and they all go back to that queen over there. That's option one. Option two, they, um, the good side, what I want, they accept one of those queens, they may, and I have two of them that high in this hive. Um, option three, uh, they kill these queens because they don't recognize the scent, and um, they're like, where's my queen, right? And I've got two queens, one queenless hive with a bunch of Japanese bees, and over here. So, I believe, we'll see what happens here, the wind is blowing this way, so the scenting of the bees is going to go that way. All right, I did that on purpose. And um, and in here, which I'm going to put this on, I believe, I hope, is the queen. Less obvious of everything. Let's see if we can find her. These are all building cone. This is all new cone. They built all this new cone. I see drones. I can see honey in there. We got some pollen. It's pretty amazing how fast they've built cone on here. They are building cone, 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 cone. Right, that's one. I actually have another frame I'm gonna stick in here. All right, they have basically built out the cone in this. Try not to roll bees. Really fast. There's the queen. There she is. There's a Japanese queen. Right there, all right, so I know I have the queen. So the question is, what's gonna happen? She's a really, she's a really mature queen. Let's close this up. I'm gonna put another frame in here, All right? Come on, move, little girl. All right, I don't know if they're crushing bees in there or not, but all right. Let's put this. This is for. Uh, so I know I have the queen. Put this on top here, so when I open it up, there isn't such a shocker, All right? Let's put this top on here. And this is actually my queening hive. So the idea is this, they fill up here and because it's small, they will, they will basically want to swarm or get out of here. So mission success. Now we'll have to wait and see what happens. All right, can you see me? Can you see me? There you go. All right, I'm calling myself the crazy bee man in Japan. You got the fat bee man, I'm the crazy bee man. Doing something radical, something different, something to spur of the moment. And the reason why, I tell you, look at these bees chasing this one out. Like, get out of here. This one's sick or something. They're definitely chasing her out. Get out, get out, get out. Get out, they're like biting her, biting her abdomen, her legs. Get out, get out, go work. You're kicking out, she's kicking her out. Um, the whole reason for doing this is that um, those two queens would die anyway. If I leave them, they're gonna die. By doing this, they have a chance. And um, ultimately, I hate to see two queens, or at least one of the two queens, that, you know, these queens, 
I hope one of them will become a champion and uh, they live three to five years so letting queens die in my view especially when you got bees dying at 30 percent per rate is significant the second thing too is the genetics it's a western bee Japanese bee can I bring the genetics together can I create a new kind of strain of bee from the two and ultimately strengthen have a, a higher honey producer with um, you know um, um, with the varroa resistance um, and uh, with, with more honey because the western bees do make more honey so we'll wait and see here when they figure it out that their <laughs> workers aren't coming back right or whether I have a swarm of workers here from there so pretty much uh, the, the splits done so I'll keep you posted this is closet bee man to crazy bee man in Japan